Shalom, Ka Hala, Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Waha Raka, Kwidaj, double honors to my teachers, the apostles, and the elders of the great millstone. Also, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Lord willing, this lesson will be edifying. This lesson is entitled, As in the Days of Noah Were. And the days of Noah, which is a faithful servant of the Most High, when we read in the book of Hebrews, chapter 11 and verse 7, it tells us, By faith, Noah being warned of the Most High, of things not seen as yet, moved with fear. And we being the hopefully elect, we're coming in the same footsteps of our forefather Noah. Ecclesiastes chapter 2 and verse 10, look at the generations of old, and we're reading about one of the examples of the generations of old, when it's pertaining unto our forefather Noah. And see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded, or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? And the answer to that question is no one, all right? perfect example our forefather Noah or whom did he ever despise that call upon him and we have the strong towers which is the name and that's going to be the way that we're going to be what placed in the same lot as Noah because when we read the book of Hebrews 11 and 7 again by faith Noah being warned of the most high of things not seen as yet move with fear and we have been warned of things not seen as yet, all right? That's the spirit of Yahweh Shai, which is the spirit of prophecy, which is the what? Say before. In order for us to say before, we must have the what? Vision from the Most High, and that's through Yahweh Shai supping with our spirits. And Noah had the spirit of Yahweh Shai because the Most High allowed him to know things that hadn't happened yet, such as the, the destruction of the land in his time. The same footsteps that we fall in, being the hopefully elect. We have seen the destruction of America before it happened. All right, now we're moving with fear. It says, prepared an ark to the saving of his house. And that's the same thing that we're doing. By the which he condemned the world. And we are what? Condemning two thirds of our people all the way up until Esau, Edom. All right. It says, and became heir of the righteousness, which is by faith. And we are part of the what? Hopefully elect. Because we live by faith. The just shall what? Live by faith. And that's being a part of the elect. That's our greatest hope. Okay? And we're falling in what? The footsteps of our forefather Noah. Because we're moving through that faith. Okay? Now, the comparisons of the times of our forefather Noah in these times now, as the book of St. Matthew, chapter 24, And verse 37 tells us, But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, now the Most High is going to what? Destroy the land also again with the flood, just like in the times of Noah. But this is going to be the second death. All right. Matter of fact, Revelation chapter 20 and verse 14, it says, And death and hell was cast into the lake of fire, which is, this is going to be that what? That second death. It says, this is the second death. All right. Just like in the times of Noah, the Most High used a cleansing agent, which is water. He's going to use Another cleansing agent this time around in our times, which is fire. It says, and death and hell was cast into the lake of fire. Revelation 9 and 16 tells you that 200 million missiles are going to be shot upon America. All right. It says, and death and hell was cast into the lake of fire. So death and hell are right, going to be cast into this fire. All right. Which is the wicked. It says, this is the second death. It says, and whosoever has not or was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. So we want to be not a part of that same uh, people that rejected Noah, in which that's happening right now. People are rejecting the words 
of those that fall in the footsteps of Noah, which is the prophets that have the spirit of Yahweh Shai, which have been warned of the Most High, of the destruction of America, which have not took place yet, okay, they're going to be caught up in the same footsteps of those that rejected Noah's, Noah's word, all right? They're going to be cast into this lake of fire, all right? Just like they got engulfed with those floods. It says, verse 37 again, but as the days of Noah were, so shall also the son, the coming of the son of man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. And that's the same things that's happening right now. We see the world going on, being conformed unto it, which is a wicked world because it's ran by Esau Edom. All right. And they spearhead this wicked kingdom that people are conformed to. Just like in the days of Noah, all right? But they're going to get caught with their pants down, so to speak. That's why the scripture speaks about Yahweh Shah coming like a thief in the night, because they're not aware that he's coming. The Most High have what? Blind them from, from knowing the truth, all right? And he have only preserved a small number, all right, that believe, all right? And that is moving with fear. Uh, the scripture speaks about a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hide of himself. Now, the, the book of Isaiah Chapter 65, and verse 8 tells us, it says, Thus saith the Lord, Yehovah by Hashem, Yehovah Shai, as the new wine is found in the cluster, and what's that cluster that the new wine is found in? The elect. We're singing that new song, all right? It says, And one saith, destroy it not, for a blessing is in it, which is the exempt from judgment, all right? The blood of Yehovah Shai. That's that blessing. So will I do for my servant's sake that I may not destroy them all. All right. So that's the part that we want to be a part of being the hopefully elect. That small drop that's compatible to that wave. All right. That that cluster that that new wine is found within. All right. That's going to be cleansed in the sight of the Most High. All right. Which is by the blood of Yahweh Shai. And that's receiving deliverance just like Noah received deliverance. The book of Second Ezra, pertaining to that small number, Second Ezra nine and verse twenty-two, it says, "Let the the multitude perish then." All right, which is that wave compatible unto it. It says, "Which was born in vain, mainly two thirds of our people." All right, we all know Esau, Edom, the rest of the heathen nations were born in vain, but this warning is meant for Israel, but two thirds would not hear it. All right, so they was born to be destroyed. Let the multitude perish then, which was born in vain, and let my grape be kept. What is that grape? The elect. All right, those that uh, hold that new wine, he's got, they're going to be preserved, meaning they're going to be. Uh, um, preserved from that that fire which is that second death which is that lake of fire that flood just like in the time of noah it says and my plant for with great labor have i made it perfect all right and that's being found with no guile in their mouth at the end being made white being cleansed by the word which is Yahweh shy and that's his blood covering over you that's the number that we want to be a part of compatible unto noah all right that's why the book of genesis Chapter 7, and verse 17 tells us, it says, And the flood was forty days upon the earth, and the waters increased and bared up the ark, and it was lifted up above the earth. So we want to be in that same situation when the floods overtake the earth this in the second death, which is the lake of fire created by those 200 million intercontinental ballistic missiles. We want to be raised up, all right? We want to be a part of Revelation 15 and verse 2. And I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire, and them that had gotten the victory over the beast and over his image and over his mark and over the number of his name stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of the Most High. So we want to be a part of that number. Those that shall be what? Raised up, just like Noah was raised up. See that? 
Genesis 7 and 17 again. And the floods were 40 days upon the earth, and the waters increased and bared up the ark, and it was lifted up above the earth. Revelation 15 and verse 2 again. And I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire. That's that lake of fire that we're going to be hovering over. And that sea of glass is the ozone layer. And them that had gotten the victory through the victor, which is Yahweh Shai, over the beast and over his image and over his mark and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of the Most High. And that's compatible to Noah's time because he was lifted up over the waters. So we want to be lifted up over the waters, which is uh, uh, the sea of glass mingled with fire. See that? Because America is going to be destroyed. Revelation chapter 8. In verse 8, it says, And the second angel sounded, and as it were a great mountain burning, where fire was cast into the sea, and the third part of the sea became blood. And that burning mountain is America, all right? That's that danger below that we want to escape. Isaiah 31 and verse 5 speaks about those that's going to escape that danger from below on an on a aerial escape. Isaiah 31 and 5, as birds flying, so will the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah of hosts defend Jerusalem. So an army is coming to defend us. And that Jerusalem is not talking about all of Israel because you are people before you are placed. That's only talking about the Israel within Israel, which is the elect. The Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies is going to defend them just as birds flying. And that's those chariots coming to defend us. Defending also, he will deliver it. So by defending us, we're, we're going to get delivered, meaning we're going to get preserved or beamed up into the chariots. And passing over, he will preserve it. And that's being kept, all right, from the danger below. Passing over, meaning it's going to be an aerial salvation. We're going to be preserved from the danger below. That's, that's Revelation 15 and 2 all over again, all right? And how that's going to happen? Revel uh, Proverbs 18 and verse 10, all right? By us, what? Pursuing in the names or running to the names, which is our place of salvation. Proverbs 18 and 10, the name of the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. So we know who the wicked are in these times because the wicked is shunning the names, Yahweh by Yahweh Shai. All right. But the righteous are running unto these names. And the scripture says, and they shall be safe. So let's look up the word tower because the name is compatible to a strong tower. Okay. And we know in the ancient times, a tower was built for you to escape on high from the danger below. So we're going to escape on high, which is the chariots, just like Noah did from the danger below. The word tower in the Strong's H4026, it says elevated stage, a raised bed. So the elevated stage is what? The chariots. The raised bed is our rest on high from what? Danger. That's going to be below, which is the lake of fire, just like in the times of Noah, when Noah was lifted up over the danger. All right. And that's the footsteps that we want to fall in. Those that, that are going to be preserved and kept in those times. All right. So, you know, Lord willing, I pray that this made sense and that this was edifying. Shalom, DTA, a barber ball soon.